hello guys this is Pawan from Ambidotronics so today in this video tutorial uh, basically I will uh, tell you about how we can uh, uh, compile uh, more than two uh, pr like a dot C uh, file is there if uh, let's say uh, using uh, msys2 compiler and vs code so how using gcc we can compile these uh, those files i'll just uh, tell you in this uh, video basically we will take one example code uh, here and uh, uh, that that would be a, a factorial of any given number so okay so let's get started so first what will we do we'll just open the visual studio code uh, just like this I have opened this and now uh, you will just click on here click on this icon here uh, and we'll click on this open folder and here we'll click on D folder we'll click on let's say new folder give it a name uh, uh, let's say uh, uh, um, factorial okay fine so now uh, this uh, this thing I have uh, selected uh, yeah, and uh, in this case now we will just uh, uh, create uh, three files here one is main.c another one is factorial.c and another uh, one is factorial.h so we will just click on new file and we will get a main give it a name main.c ok so main.c is here so here uh, in my notepad i have just uh, uh, written this code for main.c so main, in main.c what we need to do we need to just uh, 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 take an input of uh, given uh, any given number and uh, if number is less than zero it means that is negative number and we will not calculate the factorial of that uh, one because we, ca we can't calculate uh, any factorial of any negative number and that's why it will go to the else part so so this thing uh, i'll just uh, take it and we'll just paste it here so here you can see uh, so this is uh, basically uh, uh, studio dot h and then and then is uh, second one is functions dot h uh, and here uh, uh, we are uh, taking uh, factorial uh, whenever when a number is greater than 0 so we were we are just uh, uh, calling this function factorial num and uh, then we are printing factorial of percentage d, uh, d is format specifier equals to percentage lld for long int a uh, num comma result so now this is uh, for main dot c and now again we'll just click on this plus icon and here we will just uh, write uh, f u n c t i o n s functions uh, dot c so this will be our ne next uh, dot c file where our definition of our factorial uh, this uh, calling function which is factorial num will be there so this will be a recursive function so we will just uh, take this uh, uh, this thing here so this is uh, the recursive function here and uh, we will just uh, 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 write it here and here you can see long uh, we have taken long uh, uh, the return type is long and the uh, uh, function de definition also we are declaring through long only long factorial int uh, n and and we are saying if n equals to 0 or n equals to 1 then we are returning 1 and if uh, because long long ll is for long and else we are returning n into factorial of n minus 1 so this is the recursive call because function is calling itself so whenever function calls uh, itself uh, 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 that on that case it, it it is said to be a recursive function so this uh, this is a recursive function and another file now we will just create that is functions dot H. and here uh, we will copy uh, this thing uh, this thing is just uh, just a declaration of our function and uh, we are just uh, not if saying if not defined function h then define function h so that it won't define uh, multiple times in our in any given file uh, anyhow here we have only uh, one file so uh, we, we can ignore that also but anyway 
uh, we uh, should uh, of always follow the structure of C. So here we will just uh, 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 write this uh, declaration when we will save it and here also we will just save it and this is also a save we have we have we are saving it so here now you can uh, see that there is no any such error we are seeing here like uh, uh, any red mark or something we are not getting because all the things are done now and uh, whenever this will be successful uh, we are returning zero because uh, we, uh, this is a int uh, this is not a void main this is int main so we are we have to return something so in successful return zero will be there and after that functions uh, dot c is there so in this case uh, this is the uh, definition of factorial function and this is a recursive function and this in this factorial dot h we have long long factorial int n so now uh, how will we compile this so we need to compile this thing so through gcc we will compile only so we will just go to terminal and we'll click on new terminal so it will open our terminal uh, so here in d and factorial uh, this folder we have created so in this folder only it is coming so if i'll just do ls and here you can see th three these three files functions.c functions.h main.c okay so now uh, what will we do we will just uh, gcc uh, dot slash we will give our uh, executable name uh, let's say uh, output dot exe so this uh, output dot exe we will give uh, the, the executable name so uh, now we need to call both the uh, we need to write both the dot c files here so main dot c and functions dot c so this way uh, we can write uh, we can write dot slash sorry uh, so uh, dot slash main dot c and dot slash functions dot c so now if i'll hit enter now uh, after hitting enter uh, output dot exe uh, it is not finding uh, okay so uh, basically uh, here we need to also uh, give this thing because this is output files so dot uh, hyphen o also uh, we need to give uh, we need to uh, f uh, follow the gcc commands uh, the proper structure of gcc commands so this is the proper structure of gcc commands so first output file and uh, we will denote with mind uh, that hyphen o and uh, after hitting enter uh, here you can see output.exe is uh, created so now if i want to run this output.exe so uh, dot out slash output dot exe and uh, here uh, we are getting the uh, uh, that uh, uh, we are asking for an input so enter a positive integer so i'll just put five so five so five factorial is five four three two one so five four is uh, uh, twenty and then uh, twenty into three sixty and sixteen into two uh 120 so 120 we are getting the result so this is the correct result and again if we'll run the same thing and uh, let's say if i'll give a negative uh, number now so factorial undefined for negative numbers so this result we are getting based on our program which is here we have defined in main.c so i hope uh, you understood what uh, 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 i want to tell you in this video basically i just want to tell you how we can compile multiple files in uh, through gcc using msys2 compile uh, msys2 uh, uh, shell uh, basically mingw compiler we are using here 
uh, which includes GCC. So here uh, through GCC we uh, we can uh, compile multiple files using this format. Yeah, first we will just put our output file and then uh, all the source files whatever we have we will write uh, one by one and then uh, we will create uh, this output.exe or whatever name you want to give so you can give here and after that you just need to uh, dot backslash output.exe and then hit enter then you, you, your output uh, you will see the output so this way you can uh, do uh, this thing i hope you like this tutorial thanks for watching this video